All right, Joseph, are you ready to play Chomp and Charlie? Oh, yeah, dude. That squirrel's gonna take these nuts. Guys, 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 the coolest thing ever's happened. Hold on, Cody. We're playing Chomp and Charlie. What, what is Chomp and Charlie? Well, we put a bunch of nuts in the squirrel's mouth. What, guys, that's so lame. You don't need a squirrel for that. I'm right here. Look. Uh, give me those nuts. No, Cody. We want to play with the squirrel. Okay, well, I want to play too. Okay, then look. Roll the dice, and whatever color nut it lands on, you put that nut in his mouth. Hmm. I don't see mine on here. Mine's more of like a flesh color with like a mole on it and some hair. Jesus. Um, eh. Let's see. Oh, I got a blue. Okay, so I just take this and I put that in there. Ooh, <laughs> I think he likes it. You like that, Mr. Squirrel? You're only supposed to put one. Oh, oh, look at his eyes. I think he likes my nuts. Ooh, take more of my nuts, you big little squirrel. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough, Cody. Oh, this is hot. Oh, yeah, get this in there. Oh, how many can you fit, big boy? There you go. Oh, <laughs> Oh, man, that was hot. Yeah, I'm not playing anymore, dude. Yeah, we're not gonna play anymore, Cody. Oh, wait, guys, I completely forgot why I came here. All timers already? Oh, too young. Wait, no, guys, Ken's on TV. But Ken's on TV? Why? Yeah, look. <sighs> Hello, my name is Dr. Friedrich Fingerschitz, and today I am going to show you my newest creation. This is my son, Frankenstein. Now, I know what you're thinking, Dr. Fingerschitz, how did you create this Frankenstein? Well, what I did was I took random body parts that I found at car accidents before the police showed up and I sewed all of those pieces together into him. Now, last week I asked all of you to send in body parts I could use for my creation and a very nice fan from Florida named Cody sent me this doll. Whoa! Kids in a Dr. Finkelstitz episode? Yep, yep. They had a P.O. box that people could send body parts to to be on the show. And so I thought it'd be funny to send Ken there. He's my little movie star. Look at him. He's not even camera shy. What are they going to do with him after the show? I don't know. I hope they send him back. I will now insert this doll into Frankenstein. Here we go. Here comes the doll. It is nice and deep in there. Okay. Now, rise! Rise, my child! What? Oh, oh, no, uh, not that kind of rice. Rise in a different way, yes. Come on, yes, yes, there's my boy. It's alive, it's alive. What, what are you doing? No, no, Frankenstein, don't kill me, Frankenstein, no. No, I need to stop with the Frankenstein, no. Cody, did you see that? Yeah, I didn't sign up for that. The only guy Ken's allowed to be inside of is me, not that Frankenstein monster weirdo. No, Cody, Frankenstein just ate Dr. Fingle shit. Guys, it's a TV show. None of that's actually real. <laughs> What's going on? Dude, I think the news is on. The news. Breaking news, okay? Frankenstein, a monster created by Dr. Finkelschitz, has come to life and killed his creator. Police are saying that he's extremely dangerous and to be on the lookout. <laughs> that was so ugly. That was so ugly, Cody. I'm sorry. It's just I thought that was a TV show, but it turns out it's real. Frankenstein's on the loose and Ken's still inside him. Well, look, when the cops kill Frankenstein, they'll get Ken out of him and give him back to you. No, Junior, if the cops kill Frankenstein, I'll never get Ken back. Oh, guys, I have an idea. How about we don't care because it's a stupid doll? Not at all, Joseph. All right, Cody. So we gotta find Frankenstein before the cops do. Yeah, and Ken's still trapped inside Frankenstein. So I guess that makes him Frankenstein. <laughs> So how do we find Frankenstein, Cody? Well, if Ken's still trapped inside Frankenstein, that means he's probably controlling him, so he should be able to find his way home. I just have to spread my scent around a little. Hold on. <laughs> oh, dude! Oh, uh, Cody, that's disgusting! Why does your fart smell like sweaty balls? Well, what goes out is what went in. But still, I mean, Ken should be able to smell that from a mile away. He's a bloodhound for farts. He's my little fart snarfer. I don't think Ken's gonna come over your farts. Well, he does that all the time. But does anybody have any peanut M&Ms? Why do you need peanut M&Ms? Well, that's Ken's favorite candy. I mean, I know I've never mentioned it before, but that is Ken's favorite candy. I mean, I'm establishing that right now. That's his favorite candy. Add that to the wiki. Okay, Joseph, there's peanut M&Ms out there. Can you go grab them? Yeah, I got you, dude. Okay, that was fast. I think I'm gonna have to fart in that bag of M&M's just to make sure Ken finds it. You're not farting in the peanut M&M's, Cody. We're gonna go outside and we're gonna spread them around so Frankenstein can find his way home. All right, Cody, so what are we gonna do? Well, I'm just gonna pour some of these peanut M&M's on the ground. Oh, there he is. Ah, it's Frankenstein! But guys, we can't run. We have to take him back to the house. Well, you talk to him. Hey there. Hey there, Ken. It's me. It's Cody. Ah. Yes, I have some peanut M&M's, your favorite. Ah. Yeah, get some. There you go. Ah. Oh, good. Frankenstein. Come on back to the house, boy. The cops are looking for you. Okay, Ken, sit down. Oh, 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 you want your M&M's. Okay, there you go. 
So Cody, what are we gonna do now? I don't know, guys. Ken's just so big. Ooh, Ken's so big. Uh, could you guys leave me and Ken alone for a little while? No, we have to get Ken out of his stomach. Well, I don't know how we're gonna do that, guys. Uh, uh, don't eat that one, Ken. That one looks gross. <laughs> Well, I got an idea. If Ken's inside his stomach, why don't we just get Chef Pee-Pee to make him some, some, something to eat, and then when he eats, he'll poop Ken out, because his stomach will be full of food. I mean, yeah, I guess it's worth a try. <laughs> All right, Ken, we're going to go downstairs now. Come on, <laughs> come on, Ken. Come on, Ken. Here you go, Reese's Puff, Reese's Puff. Eat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Reese's Puff in my bowl. Hey, girl, how about some Pee-Pee in your hole? I don't think that's how the song goes, Chef Pee-Pee. What do you guys want? We want you to make us something to eat, Chef Pee-Pee. Well, I'm making some Reese's Puff casserole. Watch this. Let it burn, baby! Have some M&M's. There you go. There you go. That's a good boy. Why did Ken freak out like that? I think he's afraid of fire. Okay, well, he won't go around fire anymore. Well, I liked your idea about him pooping out Ken, but how do we do that? Yeah, what, what kind of food will make him poop? Ooh, ooh, I know. Why don't we get him some Taco Bell? That always gives me the giggle shit. Yeah, let's get him some Taco Bell. Okay. Uh, I'll order right now. Okay, Ken. Okay, the Taco Bell's here. Give me those M&Ms. No, no, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Look, look. You have a, you have a Taco Bell burrito. Yes. Yes, it's good. Yes. Mm, yummy. Yummy. You like that? Yeah. That's good. Oh, oh, I think he has to poop. Oh, he, oh, oh he's farting. Oh, oh, get him to the bathroom. Okay, Let's get him to the bathroom. Okay, come on. There you go, there you go, Ken. Poop it out. That's good. But Cody, what happened to your shirt? Oh, I got burritos squirted all over me in the last scene, so I just decided to take my shirt off so it doesn't stain. <laughs> he is pooping his brains out right now. Oh, there you go, Ken. There you go. Well, I'll just give you guys some privacy. Okay. Oh, did he poop out Ken? No, he just had a regular old monster poop. <laughs> Lots of peanuts, though. So then what took you guys so long? Now, we had to stop at McDonald's to get my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week. I missed a few weeks, so I went ahead and got two. So how are you going to get Ken out of him? I don't know. Dude, I'm tired of this. Let's just cut him out. <laughs> I don't think he's going to let you do that, Joseph. Yeah, I don't think you can cut into him. we got to think of something else. What? There's someone at the door. Uh, let me go answer it by myself. Okay, damn. Hello? Hey, hey, uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. That, that was rude. You go ahead. Hello? Hey, I, I got a call from a scared chef that said there was a monster in his kitchen. What, you did? Yeah, normally I wouldn't believe it, but they said on the news that Frankenstein was on the loose, so I pretty much have to search this house, and I'm pretty sure Frankenstein's in here. Well, he's not in here, and you're not allowed to search without a warrant. Well, you're right, I'm not, but uh, search without a warrant says what? What? Ha! Classic police bamboozle. I am such a hoot. Now step aside, I'm gonna search your house. Uh, Aha! See, no Frankenstein here. Huh, maybe you would tell him the truth, kid. Yeah, no Frankenstein's here. Oh, the green dude? Shut up, Joseph! Uh, nope, no Frankenstein. Hmm, okay, I guess I'll just leave then. That was way too close. But wait! Didn't you kids hear there was a monster mash? A monster mash? What's a monster mash? Yeah, word on the street is that it's a graveyard smash. They did the mash! They did the monster mash! They did the mash! It was a graveyard smash! They did the mash! It got on in a flash! They did the mash! Ah I got you, Frankenstein! Oh, no, 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 that, that's not Frankenstein! That's Funkenstein! Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's why he's dancing. Huh, I guess you're right. Real Frankenstein couldn't have moves that smooth. But wait a minute, yes he could, it's the Monster Mash! Stop one, Frank! Get back here, Frankenstein! Frank? Aha, uh, uh, uh -huh, I got you! Huh? Wow, that, that wasn't hard at all. That's what she said! <laughs> Yeah, me and my erectile dysfunction. God, getting old sucks. Oh, no, don't hurt him! That's my boyfriend! Really? I, I feel like there should be a charge for that. Well, listen, listen, Cody doesn't really care about Frankenstein. His doll is stuck in his stomach, and he wants to get him out. Yeah, I guess that's true. Oh, I guess I could just cut him open. No! Anything but that! I love Frank! <laughs> Jo Joseph, where'd that come from? Uh, listen, can you just get his doll out of him? I mean, I could just do a cavity search and pull him out his butt. Yeah, let's do that. All right, hold him down, kids. Come on. <laughs> uh, 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 we're holding him down. We're holding him down. I almost got him. Uh, 
Ew, Frankengooch. Is this your boyfriend? Oh, Ken, I'm so glad you're safe. The only one whose rump you're allowed to go in is mine. Well, I wouldn't do that. It's kind of a tang. So what are we gonna do with Frankenstein's body? <laughs> well, they did say it was a graveyard smash. Oh, damn, Frank got a dumpy. More like Thickumstein. <laughs> Give me 30 seconds, I'm about to tear this up live. Oh, okay. Ugh. Wow, guys, I can't believe we just saw the cop do that to Frankenstein. I mean, I know he said he was going to, but I didn't believe him. And then, bam, he just started going to town. Let me see if he's still going. Yeah, he is. Damn, the stamina. So, at least you got Ken back. Yeah, that's all that matters. You're not gonna wash him? <laughs> no, why would I do that? Dude, he's been in Frankenstein's booty all day, and then you kissed him! Uh, yeah, he's been in a lot of booties. I'd say he's bootylicious. Bootylicious bubblegum. <laughs> I am not. I don't have a booty phobia, okay? You guys should know that about me by now. Oh. Well, what are we going to do for the rest of the day? I don't know. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. They, they did, did the mash. mash. It was a graveyard smash. They, they did, did the mash. mash. It got on in a flash. Whee! Whoa, Joseph just went down the slide. Dude, this is the best slide ever. Okay, I'm about to slide down it. Do it, Junior. Hey guys, can I go down the side? Uh, I don't know how you would, you're in a wheelchair. Junior! I'm just being honest, there's no ramp for him to get up here. Well you guys can pick me up and push me down the side. Pick you up? I'm not the world's strongest man, I can't pick up your wheelchair. Junior! I'm being honest, that wheelchair probably weighs like 300 pounds. Look, if God wanted you to plan this jungle gym, he wouldn't have put you in a wheelchair. Junior, why are you being so mean? I'm not being mean, I'm just being real. Look, you can watch me go down the side! <laughs> oh my god, my leg! My leg! Asshole. Oh my god! Ow. Well, kid, it looks like you broke your leg from falling on the playground, so I recommend you stay in this wheelchair for a few weeks. I don't want to be in a dumb wheelchair. Hey, it's not all bad. You know, you can have people push you around. You can go down hills really fast. Hey, you're like a transformer. Autobots, roll out. You know that noise? This is dumb. Cheer up, kid. Guys, I don't want to be in this stupid wheelchair. Well, Junior, this is karma for you making fun of that kid in the wheelchair on the playground. What's karma? It's the stuff that go on apples, dude. I'm not a karma apple, Cody. But, no, that's caramel. Then what's karma? Karma is when you get... Oh, it's chapstick. Oh, dude, my lips are so chap. No, that's Carmex. Then what's karma? <sighs> karma is... Oh, it's when you buy cars online. What? No, that's Carmex. Then what's karma? I would tell you if you stop interrupting me. Karma is when... Oh, you get... karma's that girl with the big boobies. Karma Electra. Yeah, she's hot. What? No, that's Carmen Electra. Then what's karma, Cody? Karma is when you Oh, get... it's when an Italian guy says, Get in the car, ma! Get in the car, ma! Get in the car, ma! Well, shut the, the hell up! Everybody shut up! No, karma is when you get what you deserve. So if you do something good, something good happens to you. And when you do something bad, something bad happens to you. So by making fun of that kid in the wheelchair, you ended up in a wheelchair. So you're saying if I make fun of your glasses, I'm gonna get glasses? Well, if something happens to your eyes, yes, that would be karma. Oh, I'm about to roast this man. Don't do it, dude. Oh, I'm about to roast this boy. Don't Hold on. do it. Boy! Simon from Alvin the Chipmunks looking at. Ooh. Dexter's Laboratory looking at. Don't do it! Edna from Incredibles looking at. He on the roll. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone looking at. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets looking at. Harry Potter and the and the Prisoner of Azkaban looking at. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire looking at. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix looking at. Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince looking at. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part One looking at. Harry Potter and the De Deathly Hollows Part Two looking at. Ha is that all the Harry Potter movies? I think it's one more. Is it? Uh, no. Harry no. Potter looking at. Ooh. Could have just said Harry Potter. But yeah, you, you have to wear your 3D glasses in the real world to see 3D looking ass. Uh, Coke bottle uh, glasses. Okay. Four eyes. See, I'm not blind, Cody. Well, you know, karma doesn't happen every time. Hey guys, you wanna play with my Nerf gun? Yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> oh, oh, no! My eye! My eye! He shot me in the eye! Well, kid, that Nerf bullet really messed up your eye, so you're gonna have to wear these glasses for a while. I don't wanna be a four-eyed nerd. See, Junior? Karma. Well, Doctor, is karma a real thing? Yeah, I think so. One time I was in a parking lot and I backed into this car and drove off, and now whenever I drive, people hit my car and drive off, so that'd be karma. Well, well this is just dumb, because I made fun of a kid in a wheelchair, now I'm in a wheelchair. I made fun of his dumb glasses. Now I have glasses. Well, yeah, that sounds like karma. I'd stop making fun of people if I were you. See, Junior, have you learned your lesson? No, because everything was just a coincidence, because Jeffy is the one that shot me in the eye. I didn't do that to myself, so I think everything's just a coincidence. So you're just going to keep making fun of people? Yeah, you know, I'll make fun of your dumb, stupid pimples to see if I get pimples. So, uh, pizza face. Ooh! Braille face. The old one. Helen Keller could read your face because your face is bumpy from all the pimples. <laughs> uh, what's it called when the stars make shapes in the sky? Constellation. Constellation pimple face. Flame! I could connect the dots with the pimples on your face. Face. See, Cody, look, I don't have any pimples on my face. Well, actually, I think I see one. Wh where? Right there on the side of your face. Well, it's been there. Oh, dude, that was not there earlier. Wait, so you're saying I got a pimple on my face for making fun of your pimples? Yes, Junior, I told you, karma's real. No, it's not! <laughs> 
That must be my pizza I ordered earlier. Wait, you ordered pizza? Yeah, I did, so wheel me there. Wheel me downstairs. Okay. Hello? Hey, I have your pizza here. Cody, hear how he talks. He talks with a lisp. He said, I have your pizza here. Junior, don't make fun of his lisp. It's just weird. Ooh, and be really careful because it's really, really hot. It just came out of the oven. I can't understand a single word he's saying with his lisp. Hey, say it, don't spray it, skunk mouth. <laughs> Good one! Joseph, grab the pizza. Okay, dude. And here's the money. Ooh, thanks. Do I get a chip? Use mouthwash. Wait, you're not gonna tip him, Junior? No, take me inside, go! Okay, Cody, feed me a piece of pizza. Junior, you were really mean to that pizza guy. How? You made fun of his lisp and you didn't tip him. I shouldn't have to tip him, Cody. He's already paid to deliver pizzas. It's his job. Well, he gets most of his money from tips. Well, if he wants to make more money, he should get a different job. Well, you still made fun of his lisp. Because he was talking weird and he spit all over me while he was talking. Just hurry up and feed me a piece of pizza. Okay, fine. Here comes the choo-choo train, but be careful, it's hot. Just hurry up and put it in my mouth. <laughs> That's what I said. Oh, oh, it's hot! Oh, I burnt my mouth! I burnt my mouth! Junior, I told you it was hot! I burnt my tongue! I burnt my tongue! Oh, dude, you have a lisp! What? Yeah, Junior, it's karma. You have a lisp because you made fun of his lisp. No, it's bullshit! No, no, no! I burnt my mouth by eating pizza pizza. Not karma. You told me it was hot, I just didn't listen. That's not karma. Also, I didn't tip him. Where's my karma for that? Well, I don't know. Junior! You ordered pizza and then tell me! I didn't think you wanted pizza. To dad? Of course I want pizza, stupid! Oh, now you're grounded! That means no allowance to give me that pizza! Well, no, Dad, that's my pizza! I'm hungry! Go! Oh, he took my allowance! Haha, <laughs> Junior, see? That's karma for not tipping the pizza man. Now you lost your allowance. Okay, Cody, this whole karma thing is stupid! Okay, look, how do I get rid of the karma? Well, there is such a thing as good karma, so if you do good things, then good things will happen to you. So if I go give homeless people money, my dad will give my allowance back? Maybe. Okay, can I borrow some money? But why? Because I want to give money to the homeless people! But that would be me doing something nice, not you! No, it be me doing something nice because I borrowed the money from you and I gave the money to homeless people. But how are you going to pay me back if you don't have any allowance? Because my dad will give me my allowance back when I do nice things to homeless people. Just give me some money, you big, fat, ugly, four-eyed freak. Okay, fine. Here's a five. All right, let's go get it to a homeless person. <laughs> hey, bum, here's five dollars. But Junior, it doesn't count if you're still mean. <laughs> I'm going to buy more beer. <laughs> See, look, he's happy. I did something nice. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Cody, if karma works the way you say it does, my dad should come back in here and give me my allowance back since I gave that homeless person money. I said maybe. Dad, can you get in here? What do you want, Junior? Can I have my allowance back? No, you can't have your allowance back. You didn't think about me when you ordered that delicious pizza. No! Cody, it didn't work! Well, maybe it didn't work because you were being selfish. Karma does not know I was being selfish. Yes, it does, and you still owe me $5 because you give my $5 to the homeless guy, so how are you going to pay me back? Oh, I know how I'm going to pay you back. That homeless guy said to give it back to me. Junior, where are you going? <laughs> I got $5. Give me back my $5, you bug! No, do it! No, do it! Oh, my God! <sighs> well, Junior, you just beat up a homeless guy for $5. I don't think Karma's going to like that. What's Karma going to do? Take my house from me and make me homeless? Well, I don't think it would do anything that crazy. I'm going to go downstairs and ask Chevy to make me something to eat since my pizza was taken from me. Can you wheel me downstairs, peasant? Junior, I'm not going to let you talk to me that way. <laughs> uh, okay, that was pretty hot. Come on. Be careful, Cody. The stairs are coming up. Hold on, Junior. I have to go pee. Just wait till we get downstairs. Look, when I gotta go, I gotta go. Short peen, short stream. What? Just wait. I can just do this myself. Uh, I think you should wait for Cody, dude. Can you just help me, Joseph? No, dude, I'm not your help. What you gonna do, call me boy next? I'll just do it myself. Uh... uh ah! Oh, no, 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 no. Uh... It's okay. I only fell halfway up the stairs. I can walk the rest of the way. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, are you okay? Wait, what happened to Junior? He thought he could do it himself, and then he fell down the stairs. Junior, I said wait. Uh, Cody, it's all your fault. Junior, this is karma for you trying to beat up the homeless guy. No, this is not karma. You didn't help me down the stairs. Well, I had to pee. You could have just waited. Just put me back in my wheelchair and take me to Chef Peepee, you four-eyed freak. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Hey, Chef PB, can you make me something to eat? Not right now, Junior. I'm trying to boil peanuts. Why are you making boiled peanuts in a frying pan? You're supposed to use a pot. Look, smartass, if you want to boil the peanuts yourself, you can. Chef PB, don't get mad at Cody. He knows how to boil peanuts because his mom's a fat elephant. <sighs> Sick burn, Junior. Hey, Chef PB, can I have one of those peanuts before you boil them? Uh, sure, Junior. Okay, let me just try to... Ah! 
Wow, kid. I think you're gonna be dead by the end of the day if you don't calm down. Yeah, Junior, karma gets you really bad. What'd I do to deserve my face getting burned off? Well, you called my mom an elephant, which was a sick burn, so now you have a sick burn on your face. That's complete bullcrap, Cody. I was reaching for the peanuts and I fell out of my wheelchair and landed on the stove. It was my fault, not karma. I don't know, kid. I think your friend might be right. Are you going bald? What? Are you going bald? Well, I mean, yeah, I'm going bald in the front and back, so what? Wait, aren't you a little too young to be going bald? I think you go bald at like 80 years old. Okay, you know what? That's it. You're gonna get what's coming to you. And Pooby, why are you bald? <laughs> oh, you little asshole. That's it. Me and Brooklyn guy are out of here. Oh, wow. They just left. Great job, Junior. You made Pooby leave. <sighs> Wait, what's this white stuff in your hair? Well, I have white stuff in my hair? Oh, no, Junior. I think you have lice. What, rice? What, no, lice. What, rice? You eat it with butter. It's delicious. What, no, Junior. Lice is little bugs that live in your hair. I have bugs in my hair. Call the doctor. Doctor, get back here. Hey, what's up? He says I have bugs in my hair. Oh, no, kid. You have lice. So not rice? No, no. That's delicious. You eat it with butter. Lice is little bugs that live in your hair. Well, get them out. How do you get them out? I have to shave your whole head. Well, shave my head. Shave my head. Okay. All right, kid. I shaved your whole head. So now you're bald like me and Pooby. So suck that. Yeah, suck it. All right, kid. I'm out of here. All right, Cody, I believe you. Karma's real. Really? Yeah, karma's real. Everything you said, when you do bad stuff, bad stuff happens to you. I just want to reverse it. What do I do? Well, maybe if you do something genuinely nice, things will get better. Okay. I'm going to try it. I believe in you, dude. You can do it. Okay. I'm going to start with you, Cody. Cody? Yeah? You're not the ugliest person I've ever seen. Okay, that's a start, dude. Well, well, yeah, that's, that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Wait, wait a minute. My leg, it feels better. Hold on. I can stand up! Look at God! Yeah, keep going, Junior. Okay, um, Cody, if you were the last person on Earth, I'd be your friend. Well, okay, that's kind of nice, I guess. Well, my eye, it feels better. Let me take these glasses off. <sighs> Guys, my eyes work now! Hallelujah! Oh, Cody, this is working, this is working. Okay, keep going, Junior. Uh, okay, um... Cody, if we were picking teams for dodgeball at school, I would pick you second to last. Oh, okay, yeah, that's good. Wait, hold on, my pimple! It feels like uh, it came off! Hercules! 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 I don't have acne anymore! Keep okay, going, Junior. Okay, how do I get rid of the burns on my face and my hair back? Dude, you gotta get the ultimate compliment. I can't do it, Joseph. Dude, you have to do it! I just, I don't think I can do it. You know what you have to say. Okay, I will do it to have my life back to normal. Cody, your mom is not fat. Come on, you can do it. Oh, your mom is not fat. She's not what, Junior? She's not fabulous. What? She, because she's more than that. She's not fabulous. She's more than that because she's such a wo. Mm -hmm. She's such a wonderful. Yes. Your mom. Your mom is a wo. No, no, can't call her that. Your mom is a wee. Your mom is way too fat for age. She's a big fat cow. Moo, moo, moo. Oink, oink, oink. Moo. <laughs> dude, 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 guess what? I just got invited to PJ Crenshaw's Major Ranger Party. PJ Crenshaw? Here at Jamie's Crenshaw. Jamie Jam's Crenshaw. You know, dude, look. It's right here. The invitation's right here. Oh, that's an official signature. Yeah, dude. Guys, guys, guys. I just got invited to PJ Crenshaw's Major Ranger Party. PJ Crenshaw? Here at Jamie's Crenshaw. Jamie Jam's Crenshaw. That one? Yeah, his signature's right there. Wait, he invited you to the Major Rager? Yeah, and all this talk about Major Ragers is giving me a Major Rager in my pants. Well, why would he invite you guys and not me? I don't know, Junior. I guess we're just cool. Yeah, sorry, dude. Hey, what's up, haters? BJ Crenshaw! Hey, Jamie's Crenshaw! Jamie Dan's Crenshaw! Boys, boys, calm down. It's just me. Uh, PJ, Crenshaw, your coolness? You may speak. Um, I was wondering, since you invited both my friends to your major rager party, that maybe I just might be lucky enough to be invited to your party? <laughs> what do you think I came, bro? Bethany, give the man his invite. Here you go. You're so lucky. Oh my god! Guys, I'm invited to PJ's major rager! That's a good thing, too, Junior, because if you weren't going to that party, we never would have talked to you ever again. Yeah, you would have been a total loser, dude. Well, good thing I was invited, guys. Hey, guys, all the uh, we're all going to a party, Jeffy. You want to come? Yeah, I want to come to a party. PJ, can he come? Oh, definitely not. But why? Because Jeffy tried to steal my girls one time, and that is an immediate no-no in PJ's book. Well, well, well that, that, that's really sad because he won't be invited. He'll feel left out. Yeah, I don't care. He's not coming. Well, well, well Jeffy's 18. Maybe he can buy stuff for your party that you can't get. Huh. Well, we do need root beer for the party, and none of us are old enough to buy it ourselves. Okay, I'll tell you what. If Jeffy brings root beer for the party, he's invited. You hear that, Jeffy? All you have to do is get root beer and you can go to the party. Okay, I can buy root beer. I even got my own car. All right, there will be root beer there. Okay, good. So you bring the root beer, you're in. 
Come on, ladies. I want to bounce. And I'm not talking about leaving. <laughs> Guys, we're going to the Major Ranger. Anybody who's anyone's going to be there. Time to rage, dude. Yeah. Okay, so guys, let's go to the party. Wait, 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 wait guys, guys, we, we have to get root beer for Jeffy. Oh, oh, yeah, we have to get the root beer first. Jeffy, let's go get root beer. You're driving us. All okay. right. Woo! PJ throws the best party. Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah, I know how to throw a Major Ranger. I thought you said there was going to be root beer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there, there will be. I, I don't know where that guy is right now. I'm leaving if there's no root beer. No, no, don't worry. There's, there's going to be root beer. Wait, I think that's the guy right now. Uh, hello? We got the root beer! Oh, thank God, bro. The chicks were gonna leave. The chicks! Whoa. Chicks we ditch? Yeah, come on in! Let's go! Oh, ladies, the root beer's here! Drink up! Boys, come on, what are you doing? Get some root beer! Let's party! <laughs> oh, I've already drank five root beers! Drink up, this party's never gonna end! Dude, I'm gonna run on the roof! Let me eat butt! Yeah! Uh, uh, oh man, I drank so much root beer. Oh no, the room's spinning! Please make it stop! It's not gonna stop, Joey. That we're on a planet that's spinning. What? Junior, Junior, Junior! Junior, I have to tell you, you're uh -huh. hot! Huh? You're so hot! Oh, you're so hot, Vanilla Puff. Oh my god, do you want to go in my room and make out? <gasps> this is your house? Yeah, my dad's gonna kill me! Woohoo! Dude, you gotta do it, she! DTF! DTF! Now hold on, Vanilla Puff. Me and Joseph made a pact. A uh, blood pact. Okay. He said if I ever went to a girl's room, you're I'd, a girl. I'd have to invite him. Yeah, and I'm him. Okay. So he can come? Okay! Woo! I can go! Yeah, yeah, he just got in there. Yeah, I, I lost my hand. What? Oh, Corey, what happened to your head? No way. I put it in the garbage disposal. What? And he took it. And Joey, someone stole Corey's head! Oh, who stole your head, dude? I'll beat you! Who did it? Who did it? I promise! It was the disposal. Oh, okay! Disposal, show yourself! Where is he? It's probably covered in biscotti. Okay, right that's it. We can clean it off, dude. That's it. We're gonna kick his ass. Where is it? Oh, no! Shh. Pirella, Mom. Pirella, oh, me. She fell asleep. No one's gonna freak me now. Oh, well, hey, Junior. Junior, you meet me in the closet, I will rock your world. Oh, I, will, I, will, I will take that off. <laughs> Jeffy! Jeffy! <laughs> hey, we're all out of root beer. Root beer? Can you go get some? Yeah, I'll go and drive and get it. Yeah, go get some more. Okay, okay we're gonna go find your hand, Cody. Okay. And then we gotta go to the closet. High five. You know what? I'm enjoying you guys. Damn Forget it. it. Yeah. <sighs> I can't wait for this shift to be over. I really hope Penelope's not doing something stupid at home. Never left a home alone before. What? 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 Oh my god, this guy's drunk driving. I gotta go after him. <laughs> oh! 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 Why is this road so curvy? Oh, oh, oh. drop my root beer. Mm. Oh my god, this man is not stopping. Pull over, you jackass. You're gonna hurt somebody. What the hell are you doing? What? Come on, just pull over. What? What? Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. He stopped, he stopped. Oh my god. Excuse me, sir. Have you been drinking tonight? Hold on. Let me get some. Well, don't, don't, don't reach for anything. What are you doing? What? I had to get my root beer. What is it? Root beer? It sure is. Well, then why are you acting like this? I'm not acting like nothing. What? Okay, I guess I can add littering to the list of charges. Step out of the car, please. Do I have to? Yes, you have to. Okay, well, let me just... Uh, I'm sorry, do you think you're driving away right now? Because you're not. Screw you! Okay, it, it, it would be resisting arrest if you were. Okay, all right, that's it. Get out of the car. Come on. Hey, come on. don't come on. touch me! Come on. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, we're gonna do a field sobriety test to see if you're drunk. Okay. All right, now try to say ABC's backward. I can't even say I'm forward. Okay, well then try to walk in a straight line. Wait. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, forget it. Um, try to touch your finger to your nose. No, that's that's not even close. Okay, how about this? Uh, count to five. Okay, that's it. Come on, come on. We're going to jail. All right, make your one phone call. Hey, st stop it! Stop touching my hat. Just make your phone call. Uh, no, don't lick it. That's great. No, you know what? Give it to me. I'll call my hair, Daddy. I'll call him. 
Hello. Hey, this is jail. Oh no, who got arrested? I caught your son drinking and driving. What? That is my dad. Save from me! What did Jeffy do? Uh, he was drinking and driving, I just told you. Well, well like, what do you mean we were drinking and driving? Don't, don't oh. chew on that. Oh. Okay, I, I think you should just come get him, please. Oh, I'm on my way. Would you stop it? <laughs> just get in there until your dad gets you. Stop uh. licking things, it's gross. Uh. You're gonna get sick. <laughs> Ew. Okay, I'm here. Get him. But Jeffy, stop that! Ah! Okay, what was he drinking? Well, see, that's the thing. He wasn't drinking anything bad. What? He was just drinking root beer. Turn on Smack that bitch. I don't. I don't know what this is. <laughs> if he was just drinking root beer, why is he arrested? I, I. I don't know why he's acting like this. Okay, but but he was he was driving recklessly and he tried to resist arrest. So what? that's what I charged him with. Oh, okay, that's it. So so what? So how do we get the jar the charges dropped? Well, I'm gonna need him to go to an AA meeting so that he can see that it's not funny to make fun of people who actually have problems. Rub my nipples. Oh, uh, okay. So please get him out of here. Oh, right, we're gonna go to an AA meeting. Come on. Uh, all right, Jeffy, you're gonna sit right here and ooh, I can't even go over all the levels of grounded you are. What's the first level? and he's the boss hard at the end. What's going on, Marvin? Jeffy got arrested for drinking and driving. Jeffy, how could you? You're not old enough to drink alcohol. It was root beer, and it got me fucked up. That's a gateway drink, Jeffy. It has the word beer in it. Yeah, Jeffy, you know no sodas after 8 p.m. Well, I'm a rebel. And no Red Bull either. Well, what's his punishment, Marvin? Well, the cop said he has to go to an AA meeting for his drinking problem. I don't have a problem with how much I drink. You have a problem with how much I drink. You were swerving all over the road. You could have killed someone, Jeffy. Jeffy, you're going to that meeting so you can learn your lesson. It was root beer. Penelope, I'm home. You better not have thrown a crazy party. W wait a minute. I hear music. I hate music. What, what the? Penelope! Ugh. All right, guys, we never speak about what happened in the closet. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. What are you boys doing in my house? Oh, shit, it's the pigs back in the closet. Oh, the noodle catcher's here. Penelope! Everybody out of my way. I got my mad eyebrows on. Why do you have your mad eyebrows on? Because I want to ask your son a question. Where were you taking that root beer? To my belly. Don't you lie to me. I'll kill you. What, what's going on? My daughter threw a major rager at our house while I was at work. She invited that PJ Crenshaw. Pair of Jamie's Crenshaw? Jamie James Crenshaw. Now, he seems pretty cool, but I'm pissed at your son for bringing that root beer. Well, why aren't you mad at your daughter? Oh, don't worry. I already gave her an earful of eardrops because she has an ear infection. But I will yell at her later when she feels better. Well, don't worry. We're going to take Jeffy to his AA meeting. Well, I'm going to take him right now because I'm so mad. Oh. Come on, Jeffy. Let's go. Hey everybody, welcome to AA, Addictions Anonymous. This is a space where we can all talk about our addictions and relate to each other so that we know that we're all struggling. Okay, Screwball, we'll start with you. Hi everyone, my name's Screwball. I'm addicted to every substance under the sun. I'm ordered by the court to be here, and I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you, Screwball. Uh, how, how long have you been sober? Uh, about 15 minutes. Okay, th that's a good start. Thank you. I'm trying really hard. Hey, can I smoke this candle? No. Uh, okay, Judy, let's go to you. Hey, everyone. My name is Judith, and I'm addicted to BBC. Ever since I first had BBC, I just can't stop thinking about it. It's so delicious. I just love having BBC in my mouth. I just love bacon broccoli casserole. Oh, that does sound good. Oh, it is. It's something healthy mixed with something very unhealthy in one big casserole. And when I eat BBC, sometimes I like to watch BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation. That's how I found out the Queen died. I was so shocked I choked on some BBC and I was like, <coughs> And my husband was like, honey, what are you doing? And I said, I'm choking on BBC. And that's when I knew I had a problem. But I'm proud to say I've gone a whole day without BBC. I'm proud of you. I wish I could go a whole day without blow. <laughs> See? Damn it. There I go again. All right, Judith. That's, that's good. Okay, Shrek, it's your turn. Hello, everybody. My name is Shrek. I am addicted to eating the Sarah cream, cream, cream cheese cake. And when I eat it, my butthole, it uh, separate and it looks like overbaked muffin with the steam possibly coming out and then it just kind of folds over the sides of the little cupcake pan and then it's just like steamy goodness. Just... Okay. Uh, screwball, could you please not smoke in here? Sorry, Doc. Uh, uh, Jeffy, it's your turn. Hey, everyone. My name's Jeffy. And I drink root beer, and I don't know how to drive really well, so I got in trouble for that. Well, he didn't learn anything. 
And you have two candles now. Okay, well, I still appreciate all of you coming out. This is a step in the right direction. And to everyone watching this video, thank you for watching, and make sure you like and subscribe. And if you learn anything from this video, let it be that you should drive carefully and don't drink. Well, I mean, you can drink root beer, just not the second word in root beer, and definitely not while driving. And don't put candles in your mouth. Yeah, okay, that, that about covers it. All right, baby, are you ready to watch TV? Yeah, Marvin, I'm excited to watch Shark Tank. Ooh, my fibs, I got you some SpaghettiOs. I never asked for SpaghettiOs, Dougie. But you look so really all that be all that hungry. I don't look hungry. Yes, you do. Here, look, at least read it. What, read it, what could you have possibly spelt with SpaghettiOs? They're all O's. What, Marfin, please, Call of Duty. Marfin, please give me the new Call of Duty, please. I'm not getting you the new Call of Duty, Dougie. Also, these aren't SpaghettiOs. These are alphabet letters. The, the SpaghettiOs only have O's. Oh. Yeah, and also, my name's not Marfin. It's Marvin. I want a muffin. I didn't say muffin. Look, and also, 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 I'm not getting you the new Call of Duty. You can buy it yourself. But I need it, and I ain't got no job. Oh, you ain't got a job? Well, no. I, got, I got an idea. All right, Dougie, I got this. I thought you was gonna go get your wallet. Why would I go get my wallet? To give me $60 so I can get the game. I'm not getting you new Call of Duty, Dougie. I got a soup. See, I told you you was hungry. I'm not hungry. Look, read it. Did you get it? See, I can't read. But why the fuck were you staring at it so long? If you can't read, you just told me you couldn't read. Because it looked good. If you can't read, then how would you spell Marfin, please, Call of Duty? Because I paid someone $5 to do it. If you paid someone $5 to do it, you could use that $5 to go towards the game. Well, see, it was an investment. See, I paid $5, so hopefully get a $60 game. All right, listen, it says get a job. Well, why'd you put it in the soup? You could've just told me that. You could've just told me to get your new Call of Duty. But then you would've said no. I did say no. <sighs> what? Listen, me and Rose are gonna watch the new Shark Tank episode and you're gonna watch it with us. Well, see, I don't understand why you're gonna sit around and watch a bunch of fish swim around and tank and stuff when you can just give me $6 and I can get a game. Look, watch this show. It might inspire you to make some money. Four sharks who are all billionaires are looking to invest their money into the next million dollar product. Hello Sharks, my name is Jonathan, and I live in my mother's basement. So Sharks, how many of you have went to go watch anime on your laptop, and then all of a sudden, you have to blow your load of boogers, so you grab your tissue, and then you blow your load into it, and now you start watching anime again. But then, 15 minutes later, all of a sudden, you have to blow another load of boogers. So you reach in your tissue box, but it's empty because your mother has you went to the store in three weeks. Well, now what are you going to do? You have to blow your load of boogers, and you have no way to do it. Well, Sharks, I have created a solution to this worldwide problem. Introducing to you, the Come With Me Rag. Wherever I go, this bad boy comes with me. And it's machine washable, so it's reusable, so it's better for the environment than just regular tissues. And this bad boy can hold so many loads of boogers. So sharks, who's ready to blow their load of cash with me? Uh, I, I have a question. Uh, what material is it made of? Is it soft? Because I have kind of a sensitive uh, nose. Oh, I have a sensitive nose too! So I made sure to make this out of the softest products. This is made out of 100% pure Egyptian cotton made in India. Can, can I feel it? Of course you can feel it! Oh, oh, thank you. Wow, wow, this is soft. Uh, yeah. Ah, you know, I actually have to sneeze. You mind if I blow my load of boogers into this? Sure! Blow all the loads of boogers you need! Mm, mm, that did feel good on my nose, but... Ah, it's kind of a weird smell. It smells kind of salty. Oh, that's because I had to use it on the way here. I had to blow a quick load of boogers into it. Ew! I have a question. How many loads of boogers can you blow into it? I would say five loads of boogers. First, you want to work the corners. Then, you want to work your way towards the middle. Does it come in any different colors? It only comes in white, so you don't see the booger stains. I don't understand the product. It looks like any towel I would find at a store. Shut up, lady! This product's not meant for you! Well, I'd like to make an offer. I'll give you $200 for it. Sold, sucker! This is just a regular watch slot from Target! No takesy backsies, no pay up! I knew it! Well, deal is a deal. Give me that bad boy.
<laughs> Yo, Mom Vips, they just gave that man $200 for a washcloth? Well, usually you're supposed to invent something and then the sharks will invest their money into it. So if I go on a show, they're going to give me $60 for the new Call of Duty? No, they're not going to give you money for Call of Duty, but if you invent something and they like it, they'll invest their money and then you can make money for Call of Duty. Oh, okay. I got some easy ideas. Keep watching the show. I'll be right back. <laughs> The sharks are ready to hear the next invention. Hello, sharks. My name is Itchy Boy Dougie, and my invention is to give me money box. So what you do is you put money in the box, and then I have it. So who wants to invest? I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Now hold on. I have a question. When I put my money in the box, where does the money go? It goes in the box, and then I takes it out, and then I have it. Okay, but how do I make money? Well, you ain't gonna make money, you just gonna make me happy because now I get the game. The game? The brand new Call of Duty, I needs it. Yeah, I'm out. What you mean you out? You out some money? I know you ain't out some money because I know you rich. Y'all know you can afford to give me $60. Leave. Okay, I'll take my money back somewhere else. Marvin the Mean Sharks on TV was mean. They said no to my invention. And I know it's a good idea because I'm like Thomas Edison. It's not a good idea, Dougie. It's just a box that says give me money on it. Well, does anyone else want to invest? No. Well, since I was on TV, I'm famous. So I'll only charge you $60 for my autograph. I don't want an autograph, Dougie. If you want $60 that bad, go get a job. Ooh, Marvin, the fair's in town. Can we go? No, all the rides make me nauseous. Well, we don't have to ride rides. We can just play games and win prizes. But the games are scams. Last time I lost $100. <gasps> Ma Vips, did you say scam and $100? So all I got to do is set up a game and people will give me $100? Well, no, the games at the fair are scams and they charge you a lot of money to win cheap prizes. So I wouldn't suggest doing that. Oh, thanks for the idea, Muffin Man. You can have my box. Dougie, come on, come on. And Dougie's Dunkaroo. Oh, I want to play the game. Yeah, me too. All right, well, let me tell you how to play. First, you pay me 10 and then you get two shots. If one of your shots makes it one of these holes, whatever the number next to the hole is, is how much money you gotta pay me. So if it goes into 10 holes, you gotta pay me $10. If it goes into 50 holes, you gotta pay me $50. Wait, so we have to pay to play, and then we have to pay again if we win? Yeah. Well then why would we even play? Cause it's really fun. Look, I even give you two free shots. Go ahead. Ooh, a free shot. I'll go first. Oh, I almost made it. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, I get 10. All right, now you owe me $10. Wait, you said it was free to play. Well, it was free to shoot the shot, but if it goes in the hole, you owe me $10. What? This is ridiculous. I'm not paying. Come on, Junior. Wait, yeah, I'm going to call the pop -up. You steal it from me. Hey there, somebody called the cops about a robbery? I did, Mr. Police Officer Man, because some kid done stole $10 from me. Okay, way to go. He went that way wearing glasses and a shirt. So he just ran up and stole your money? Well, no, what I have is this game called Dougie's Dunkaroo. And what you do is you pay me $10 and I give you two shots. And if one of your balls goes in one of the holes, whatever the number next to it is, how much money? You gotta pay me. Well, the kid made it in a ten dollar hole and he ain't give me no ten dollars. Well, I can't say I blame him. I mean, this kind of sounds like bullshit. Well, what I did was is I gave him two free shots, and so he made one of them in a ten dollars and he ain't paid me. No, this kind of sounds like you're trying to scam people. Well, the fair does it. Well, yeah, but that's the fair. This is somebody's house. What, Dougie? What are you doing? Welcome to Dougie's Dunkaroo. What you do no, is you pay no, me ten dollars. No, 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 no. He's trying to scam people out of the money. Dougie, I told you not to do that. Why? Well, I, I ain't mean to. Do you told me the fair did it, and you got scammed out of a hundred. I was at the fair. I think you two should probably just get out of here. Come on, Dougie, let's go. Oh. I want to play this by myself. Oh. Oh, damn it. Oh, Dougie, I cannot believe you tried scamming people. But you told me I could do it because the fair done did it to you. No, I never said you could do it. Marvin, keep it down. I'm trying to read my book. Well, I got an idea of how you can make money, Dougie. You could try writing a book, because the Harry Potter books have made billions of dollars. But Marvin, he said earlier he can't read. Yeah, Marvips, you just be trying to make fun of my disabilities. No, I'm just trying to help you make money so you can get your stupid game, because writing a book would make you a lot of money. Hmm, I guess I could try writing the books. Hey, can I borrow your books? Oh, yeah, I think you'll like it. It's about a boy named Harry Potter, and he casts spells. What type of spells? No, he casts spells. He's a wizard. Oh, okay, I think I know what I'm just gonna write about. I can't believe you gave Dougie your book. Marvin, I think it's nice your friend is trying to read. All right, Marvin, I wrote my books. Harry Potter and the Unknown Smell. Well, Dougie, get, get that out of here. And I'm going to go ahead and ruin the ending for you. The Unknown Smell was his Harry Potter. Dougie, that was very inappropriate, and you didn't write that book. All you did was tape a picture to the front of her book. You ruined my Harry Potter book. Well, I'm just trying to get some money for the game. Listen, Dougie, if you're this desperate for money, why don't you donate a kidney? Well, what's a kidney? Well, look, it's something in your body. You have two of them, and you can donate one for money. Well, how are they going to get it out? They're going to do surgery and cut it out. Well, that's going to hurt. 
hurt. Yeah, it's gonna hurt, but it'll make you money. Ooh, money? Well, I got some an idea. All right, my bips, I got my kidney. What, Dougie, that's not your kidney. Yes, it is. No, that's made out of Play-Doh. No, it's not. I see the container right there. Don't tell nobody. I'm not gonna tell anyone, Dougie, but no one's gonna fall for this. No one's gonna think this is your kidney. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? You called a doctor? Yeah, because I gotta get the money for the game. <sighs> yeah, Mr. Doctor Man, I wanna sell my kidney for $60. But, but, okay, hold on. I have a number of questions. First of all, how did you even get your kidney out? I pooped it out. But you, you just, you pooped it out? Yeah, I was sitting on the toilet, and I was so really constipated, and then after I went boo-boo, I got up and I looked down and said, there go my kidney. So here go my kidney. I didn't even know it was possible to poop your kidney out. It, how long has it been out? Because it only stays good for a few hours if it's not on ice. Oh, uh, about four or five minutes. Okay, and you only want to sell it for $60? Yeah, well, how much can I get for it? I mean, kidneys usually go for thousands. Okay, well, then that. No, uh, no, no, you said $60. Oh, well, plus taxes and fees. What, taxes and fees on what? The, 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 new, the new Call of Duty game. Wait, wait, so you want the new Call of Duty for your kidney? Yeah. So, if I go get you Call of Duty, you will give me your kidney? Yeah, that's a deal! I mean, that seems like a good deal for me. I mean, we actually do have a patient who needs a kidney. Uh, okay, I'll be right back with Call of Duty. Wait, you, you can't let him take this kid. You gotta tell him the truth. There's someone that actually needs it. Well, I really need the game. <sighs> okay, I'm back with a new Call of Duty. Oh! Oh, I just got a new Call of Duty. Yeah, I just have to get this kidney back to the little eight-year-old boy who really needs it. Oh, uh, that's something I gotta oh, tell no, you. sorry, I'm in a hurry. Hey, you just saved a life. Oh, no, no, I gotta take some... Oh, Dougie, the eight-year-old boy gonna die because of you. Oh, that's fucked up. But at least I got a new Call of Duty. I just got a new Call of Duty. I just got a new Call of Duty. I just got a new Call of Duty. So now I'm going to play it. Dougie, that kid is going to die because you gave him a fake kidney. Why? That kid already has two knees anyway. How many more knees does he need? What? what? Well, I'm just going to play the game. So hold on. Hey. No, right now, man. I'm playing the game. What's wrong, doctor? Well, I got all the way back to the hospital, and I told that little boy and his family, congratulations, you're gonna live. I found a new kidney for you. So they all celebrated and cried, and then when I went to go put the kidney in, I realized it was Play-Doh, and I ate it, because Play-Doh smells delicious. So now my stomach hurts, and that little boy's mad at me because he thinks I ate his kidney, and it's all his fault, and he owes me $60 because I bought him Call of Duty. Well, I got an idea I could pay you back. Come on. Welcome to Dougie's Dunkaroo. No, no, no. I don't want to play this game. It's a scam. Well, this time the rules is different. For every hold that you make, that's how much money I pay you. Hmm, okay, yeah, I like that. But you got to do it with this ball. Okay. Um. Uh, damn it. 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 This game is hard. Uh, damn it. 